So you're going to show us the spider web one today, Vicky. What I've done here is I've already pre-varnished um, the nail tip. Yep. So we're going to use a green base today. Yep. We're going to start off by using some vertical lines, but we're going to do them at an angle. They're going to come across the nail. So once we've done the vertical lines, we're going to come in and do some horizontal lines, but we're going to do them at an angle. So you're going to start to create a hexagonal shape, just as a spider web. So row by row, we're going to start creating this effect. And it's a nice idea just to leave a little bit of a gap in between the lines, because this leaves us a little bit of space to add some gems in. And to do this, we're just going to pop on a clear coat over the entire nail just to help seal in the gems. If you try to pop them onto dry nail varnish, you will find that they will just fall straight back off again. So we have now coated the nail in the clear. And I'm going to use this clear to pick up the gems with using my little tool here. pop in some gems in the little spaces, leave a line and then pop another gem into the next section down. How many gems you put on is down to you, it's just a bit of artistic license. And there we go, there's the gems placed onto the nail. And to seal those in, use the same clear coat, again, all over the nail. Make sure that you really coat those gems well because they will stand proud to the nail. They need to be sealed in, otherwise the client will lose their gems. And there we go, we have our nice green spider web all ready for Halloween.